Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Money Text Guru. In this video, we are going to learn about how to calculate the tightness factor for a single tuck PQ fabric knitted with two different loop length and two different yarn counts. Before start our calculation, let's understand how the single tuck PQ fabric structure is. Actually, it is a four feeder repeat and it is a combination of two all knit and two knit tuck structures and is equally distributed. Let's start. Let's solve the calculation. Fabrics, single tuck, PQ. And yarn count, as I mentioned in the question, it is knitted with two different yarn counts. All the all knit structures are knitted with 24 100% cotton. And the all knit tuck structures are knitted with 150 denier 100% polyester yarn. And, and it is knitted with two different loop length. All the all knit are knitted with 27 centimeter loop length and all the knit tuck structures are knitted with 25.5 cm. We all know the tightness factor K can be calculated using square root of text divided by loop length in centimeter for one loop. Actually, it is a continuation video of my previous video, how to calculate the tightness factor for a single jersey fabrics. Whoever watching this video for the first time, I have provided the link in the, in my, in the description box Please watch that video first followed by this video to grab the complete information. Let's restart the solution. Since it is a combination of two different structures, the all knit and knit tuck, we need to calculate the tightness factor for all knit first followed by knit tuck so that it is easy to calculate the average tightness factor for a single tuck PQ fabric. So let's just cal first calculating the all knit tightness factor. Text since we required the text value and the yarn count is in Yangi, we know the conversion factor for converting the Yangi to text is 590.5 divided by Yangi. It is 590.5 divided by 24 is 24.604. Since we required square root of text, so square root of 24.604 is 4.960. And we require the loop length in centimeter for one loop, whereas we have the data. 27 centimeter for 100 loops. So 27 divided by 100 is 0.27 centimeter. So we have kept the data ready for all knit. In the same way, we are going to calculate the data for knit tuck. We know the formula to convert denier into text is denier divided by 9. 150 divided by 9 is 16.666. So since we required square root of text, so square root of 16.666 is 4.082. And we need the loop length in centimeter for one loop. So we have the data 25.5 centimeter for 100 loops. So 25.5 divided by 100 is 0.255 centimeter. So now the data is ready for both all knit and knit tech. Let's calculate the tightness factor for both all knit and knit tech. I have given the notation as K1 for the tightness factor for all knit. Just apply the value in the formula square root of text we have 4.960 and loop length in centimeter for one loop is 0.27 4.960 divided by 0.27 it is 18.37 so in the same way just up substitute the value in the same way in the formula for knit tuck tightness factor and i have kept the notation as k2 4.082 divided by 0.255 it is 16. now we have both the both two tightness factors during the fabric structure uh, study we have seen it is 50% contribution is 24 100% cotton and 50% contribution is 150 denier 100% poly. So to calculate the average single tuck PQ's tightness factor uh, K, I have made the formula as K1 plus K2 divided by 2. So just substitute the value here 18.37 plus 16 divided by 2 it is 17.185. It is the average tightness factor for a single tuck, single tuck PQ fabric knitted with two different yarn count and two different loop length. This is how it needs to be calculated. I hope this video is very useful and informative. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe the channel. See you all in the next video. Till then, bye from your money text group. Bye.